The Texas Supreme Court on Friday temporarily halted an order allowing a woman who is 20 weeks pregnant to get an abortion, reversing a lower court ruling that marks the first case of a pregnant woman seeking a court order for the procedure since Roe v. Wade was overturned last year. The order was issued Friday night. The case involves Kate Cox, a 31-year-old mother of two from the Dallas area, who asked the nonprofit Center for Reproductive Rights for legal help in obtaining an emergency abortion in Texas after she learned last week that her fetus had trisomy 18, also called Edwards syndrome. The genetic condition is one that cannot sustain life, as Cox wrote in an op-ed Wednesday in the Dallas Morning News. Almost all such pregnancies end in miscarriage or stillbirth, according to the Cleveland Clinic. Babies who do survive often die prematurely. Cox's doctor warned that carrying the pregnancy to term could jeopardize her health and future fertility, including uterine rupture and hysterectomy, according to the lawsuit filed on her behalf. On Thursday, Travis County District Judge Maya Guerra Gamble, an elected Democrat, granted a temporary restraining order that would allow Cox to have an abortion under the narrow exceptions to the state's ban. But Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, R, asked the Supreme Court of Texas to intervene to block Cox from obtaining an abortion. The Center for Reproductive Rights responded on Friday in a court filing that the request is stunning in its disregard for Ms. Cox's life, fertility, and the rule of law. In a letter addressed to the hospitals where the doctor involved in the case had admitting privileges, Paxton on Thursday had threatened to take legal action if Cox had an abortion in the state. He contended that Cox's doctor did not meet all of the elements necessary to fall within an exception to Texas's abortion laws, and that the judge was not medically qualified to make this determination. Paxton said the Travis County judge's order would not excuse the hospital or doctor from civil or criminal liability, including first-degree felony prosecutions. He added that the temporary restraining order will expire long before the statute of limitations for violating Texas's abortion laws expires. Doctors who perform abortions could be sentenced to five or more years in prison in many states. In Texas, they could go to jail for life. Paxton is the first attorney general to issue such a clear and credible threat to hospitals and doctors in the wake of the U.S. Supreme Court ruling. While doctors and hospitals have feared what might happen if they provide abortions later deemed illegal, no medical professional has yet been prosecuted under the new abortion bans. This is the most direct confrontation we've seen, said Mary Ziegler, a law professor at the University of California at Davis who specializes in abortion.